Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight for the virtual vacation night with Holland America Lines, Alaska, and Yukon experts. Tonight, get ready as they captivate you with their knowledge and enthusiasm about this magical destination. This exciting onstage Alaska presentation features an entertaining and informative presentation by a team of individuals who have lived and worked in Alaska. Travelers who are interested in planning an Alaska vacation will catch a glimpse into the state's history, breathtaking scenery, wildlife, and local hospitality, including the awe-inspiring Denali National Park and the Yukon Spectacular Wilderness. If you are thinking of experiencing a fabulous cruise tour to Alaska, then you're in the right place. Tonight, we have two special guest speakers from Alaska, Caitlin Fitzgerald and Taylor Welsh, they will be sharing their insider's view of what you need to know when deciding on your great Alaska adventure. This is your chance to ask an expert and dream and plan your cruise tour to Alaska. Feel free to type in your questions under the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen, and we'll answer your questions at the end of the presentation. This presentation will also be recorded and sent to you in a follow-up email in case you wanna review what you saw today or share the information with friends and family. You, if you have any questions after the event, please contact your travel advisor who invited you tonight and they'll be happy to assist you. So without further ado, I'll introduce you to Caitlin Fitzgerald and Taylor Welsh with Holland America Lines on Stage Alaska. Welcome Caitlin and Taylor. Hi, thank you so much for the introduction. Can everyone hear us? Absolutely. That's Wonderful. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Well, my name is Taylor and this is Caitlin. We are so excited to be speaking with you today. And we want to welcome you to Holland America Lines Virtual Onstage Alaska. So while we will have a Q&A at the end, we are hoping that we answer most of your questions throughout our presentation, but we will turn our attention to those Q&As at the end of our presentation. And as a former high school teacher, I have a little optional extra credit assignment for you all. If, as Caitlin and I are speaking, if you're hearing any buzzwords that resonate with you, words that capture your attention like Mount Denali, glaciers, whale watching, make sure you're jotting them down so that at the end of our presentation, you have a list that's almost your bucket list that you can bring to your travel professional, and then they can help you craft the perfect vacation with us at Holland America. So once again, my name is Caitlin. I'm Taylor. And we are your Alaska experts. Now we are both from sunny South Florida. So you might be asking yourself, what makes us your Alaska experts? Well, three summers ago, I had the opportunity to go out to Alaska for the first time. It was somewhere that I always knew that I wanted to go. And I rented an RV with five of my friends and did all of the Alaska things halibut fishing, ice climbing, glacier kayaking, and it really just was a little appetizer to let me know that I wanted more. In the following summer, we both had a sort of serendipitous opportunity to go out to Alaska to work with Holland America as tour directors. So it was great to be able to return, but even better that I got to go out there with a friend. Yeah, and I've had the travel bug for a long time. I used to live in Japan and then Australia, and I thought that my stint in Alaska was just going to be for one summer and one summer only, but here I am about to go on my third season working with Holland America. It's just such a captivating place that it's pulling me back in every single summer. And Caitlin and I have the fortune to work as tour directors. So we lead tours that go all throughout Alaska's interior into the Yukon Territory in Canada. So we cover a ton of distance and learn a lot about all of the local areas. And that's kind of how we have become experts in this area. And uh, we like to joke that we are reverse snowbirds because we escape the balmy heat and humidity of the Floridian summer in exchange for the prime weather of an Alaskan summer. So now we'd like to tell you a little bit more about who we are at Holland America. 
We pride ourselves on having a tradition of travel. So we've been sailing for over 150 years. And we also have perfectly sized ships, which I think is perfectly encapsulated in this photo here. We have the Goldilocks of ships. So it is small enough to get up close and personal to those glaciers and into those smaller port towns that larger cruise ships can't reach, but it's also still large enough to ensure a smooth mariner experience. In addition, we have world-class dining, and it ranges from casual to fine dining. I love ordering a high dive burger on deck eight in a sun lounger. And I know that with Holland America's award-winning service, the servers are always going to remember my order of not one, but two extra ketchups. We also have the best entertainment at sea. There's just such a wide variety. I personally like to start my nights out at the BB King Blues Lounge, listening to the Memphis Fred musicians, because it really gets me going on such an up-tempo for the rest of my night. So at Holland America, we love Alaska. I talked about that tradition of travel. So we've been sailing for over 150 years, but we've also been bringing guests into Alaska for over 75 years, which is longer than Alaska has even been a state. So we also offer two different ways to experience Alaska, which is with your Alaska cruises, that is travel by sea, and that is your foundation for any vacation with Holland America in Alaska. And then we also offer cruise tours, which is a combination of your cruise plus land travel. Before we delve into those details, we want to address some frequently asked questions that many of our guests have before journeying to Alaska. The first of which is, what should I wear? Now, although Caitlin and I look fabulous, these outfits are over the top. Alaska averages around 70 degree temperatures in the interior. So we do not need the Davy Crockett hats or mittens to be comfortable in an Alaskan summer. Instead, you want to dress like my fashionable parents, Rita and Steve, on their trip to Alaska. You can see that they are dressing like onions, meaning they have a lot of layers. You want to bring things like a scarf, a vest, some long sleeve shirts, some short sleeve shirts, a little bit of everything so that you can add and take away layers as needed because the weather is very transitional and it changes often. Now, in addition, you cannot forget to pack your most cozy pair of shoes because comfort is really key in the 49th state. So another question we get is how big is Alaska? And the answer to that is quite simply that it is big. And then if you add in the Yukon territory, which you can see also on this map, um, it just becomes even larger. Alaska is two and a half times the size of Texas alone. But although it's an enormous area to explore, we don't want you to get overwhelmed because Holland America covers all the logistics and the details to make sure that all you have to focus on is making memories to last a lifetime. We offer a very generous tourism season at Holland America, so you have a wide variety of times that you can come travel with us. And while each contains something special, I always say that the best time to visit is when you have the most time so that you can really make the most of your trip and soak it all in. But I will go over a few seasonal highlights. In the late spring, you have the wildflowers blossoming, snow-capped mountains in the distance, fewer visitors, and all of the wildlife is starting to wake up after a very long and sleepy winter, which leads to cubs and calves galore. So this is a prime time to view some young active wildlife. In addition, you have summer. Summer is where we earn our title, the land of the midnight sun. It is, there are so many hours of daylight during the summertime that there is one day on summer solstice where the sun never sets. And they even play a baseball game in Fairbanks at midnight. In fall, all of the tundra breaks out into a tapestry of yellow and amber hues. There are wild blueberries growing on the hillsides, and it is a prime time for photographers. But it starts to get dark at night, which leads to a chance to see the Aurora Borealis, 
or the Northern Lights. At our hotels, we even offer you the chance to request from the front desk a Northern Lights wake up call. So if they're active, the front desk will call you up and that takes all the guesswork out of it because you don't have to rush to your window every half an hour to check if they're active. So while the Northern Lights are just one reason that guests come out to Alaska, Paul in America is constantly conducting surveys to figure out what other reasons draw guests in so that they're all included on the itineraries that are important to guests. So the four responses we constantly receive is the wilderness, wildlife, glaciers, and Denali. So that's not just the mountain, which is the largest mountain in North America, but also Denali National Park. And we're gonna cover all of these in more detail as the presentation goes on, but right now we're gonna focus on wildlife. At Holland America, we are number one in Alaska wildlife and wilderness tours. And that is because we offer more access and opportunity to view the wildlife. We have over 175 experiences alone. And you might be asking yourself, what am I gonna see, right? And that starts with the land big five. So that's your grizzly bear, your doll sheep, your moose, the elusive gray wolf and the caribou. So a fun fact I recently learned is that in 1917, President Wilson created Denali National Park as a way to protect the doll sheep. So that is a prime place to view one of the land big five. And it's important to note that wildlife is always around the corner and closer than you may think. It's not uncommon for us to be driving around Anchorage and a moose will just cross the street in front of us. And I swear it looks both ways when it does. So even a grocery store run becomes an up close and personal encounter with one of those big five. In addition to the land big five, you also have the ocean big five. That is your orca, stellar sea lion, sea otter, gray whale, and humpback whale. Now, many folks come out to Alaska with the dream of seeing whales in person, and you can do so sometimes from the comfort of your Holland America cruise ship. So the next time you're taking a soak in one of our hot tubs, make sure you're listening to the hum of the humpback, because there are magical views to be found from all over our decks. So now that you're familiar with why guests come out to Alaska, we're going to share with you the three types of tours that Holland America offers in Alaska. And that is your ultimate Alaska cruise, your cruise plus Denali cruise tour, and your cruise plus Denali plus Yukon cruise tour. And we're going to cover all of these in detail and break them down for you a little bit more. But we're going to start with the Alaska cruise. It is your foundation for exploring Alaska. So if you are traveling to Alaska with Holland America, you will be setting sail on a cruise. And we offer the ultimate of all of the Alaska cruises for three reasons. The first reason is because we have a long history in Alaska, which has grandfathered us in for more permits to the glaciers that you came here to see. In addition, we have some great prime downtown docking positions in many of our ports of call. Number two is that each of our sailings offers at least one day of scenic glacier cruising. So if glaciers are on your bucket list, all of our cruises will hit that point for you. And finally, our ships are designed with Alaska in mind. So they are those perfectly sized premium ships, but we have these special decks on the lower level. They are made of teak wood and that lower level vantage point gives you a unique way to see the wildlife and the stunning scenery all around you. I personally love it when the captain opens up the bow because that gives you even more space to spread out on our already uncrowded ships. And Holland America offers different sailing types. So we're gonna start with our seven day sailings. Those are convenient weekend departures with round trips from either Seattle or Vancouver. And if seven days isn't enough for you, we also offer 14 day sailings, which offer round trips from Vancouver. And if that's not enough for you, we do also have one 28 day sailing, which is our legendary summer solstice cruise. So it might sound simple that we have seven, 14 and 28 day sailings, but there's so many different itinerary options within each of those categories. So you're gonna really wanna make sure you get with your travel professional to make sure that you choose the perfect itinerary for you. 
And each sailing offers different ways to discover, taste, and experience Alaska so that you're not just going to be a tourist, but a traveler immersed in culture. And one way that we can ensure that is with our onboard enrichment. So we offer location-specific programming so that even if you don't step off the ship, you're going to feel like you're in Alaska. We bring onboard wildlife experts to you. So we'll outline where they're located every day so that you don't miss them. We also offer cultural programs. So you can attend a lecture on the Iditarod race or learn about the Klingit culture from a native storyteller. And you can even attend an airing of BBC's Earth accompanied by a live orchestra. And as a former cello player, I can tell you it's pretty breathtaking. We also have themed activities, which include a very competitive wildlife trivia. So these are all just in addition to all those programs that you already know and love aboard Holland America. And with Holland America, you can truly taste Alaska. We are the first and only cruise line that has earned a responsible fisheries management certification to serve only fresh and sustainable Alaskan seafood on board all of our Alaska sailings. So if you want to support local fishermen and the vitality of Alaskan fish populations, you can't go wrong with Holland America. Don't worry, if you aren't a seafood fan, there are local ingredients in many of our dishes. You might see a dessert that's been baked with fresh Alaskan berries, or you might even have the chance to sample some reindeer sausage. Finally, we have Alaska-inspired beverages. We have craft cocktails made with locally distilled liquor, and they contain glacial ice cubes from already calved 800-year-old glaciers. And trust me, you can taste the difference. So speaking of glaciers, Holland America offers three iconic glacier cruising destinations. Now you'll remember that every cruise offers at least one day of scenic glacier cruising, and those include College Fjord, Hubbard Glacier, and Glacier Bay National Park. So Hubbard Glacier is the second largest glacier in the world. Now you might be asking, where is the first? Antarctica, which is already covered in ice anyway. So that's like Serena Williams beating me at tennis. It feels a little bit like cheating to me. Another highlight for some guests is uh, Glacier Bay National Park. So Holland America is number one in Alaska glaciers because they offer more permits than anyone else to get into Glacier Bay National Park, which only offers two permits per day to sail into. And we also bring the park to you. So we bring a park ranger on board and we even bring the national park stamp, which is pretty special. So if either of those glaciers is hitting those buzzwords from Taylor's assignment earlier, make sure you're writing them down to ensure that the itinerary you choose includes one of those glaciers. Exactly. And while you will have plenty of time to view glaciers on your cruise, you also have the chance to visit some spectacular ports of call. And I don't have time to go all over all of them today, but I will highlight a few. The first of which is Ketchikan. It's a town that was built on tourism, timber, and the salmon fishing industry. So if I have any fishermen here, this is the place to catch some salmon or halibut. My family came out to Alaska two years ago. We all went halibut fishing and caught over 150 pounds of halibut that we then shipped home to South Florida. We are still eating it to this day. And I, I promise you, you cannot cook halibut wrong. It's delicious no matter how you prepare it. In addition, Ketchikan also has the Saxman Klingit Cultural Showcase, and that features 25 recarved and refurbished totem poles. So if you want to dive deeper into Alaskan Native culture, this is a great place to do so. Did you know that Juneau is the state capital of Alaska? It is only reachable by either air or by sea. And Juneau has one of the most charming historic downtown districts in all of Alaska, and it's only a short walk from your cruise port. In Juneau, you can sample many different activities for shore excursions. You could go feast on King Crab, visit Nugget Falls, or go on a whale watching tour. Many of the whale watching tour providers in Juneau are so confident that you will see a whale that they offer a money back guarantee. 
So if you want to cross off the big ocean five from your bucket list, Juno is a great place to do so. Finally, we have Skagway. It is the gateway to the Klondike, and it was a host historic gold rush town from 1898. And the number one attraction in all of Alaska is located in Skagway, which is the White Pass and Yukon Railroad. This is a narrow gauge rail railway, and it is now a spectacular train ride that many of our guests enjoy. We will circle back to both Skagway and the White Pass Railroad shortly, so sit tight on that one. So now that we've covered Holland America at sea, we're going to add land into the equation and talk about your cruise tour. Now you might be asking, what is a cruise tour? It's a combination of land and sea travel where all of your logistics are handled for you. So from your transportation to even your luggage, which will meet you at every hotel room. It's an incredible way to travel with multi-generational families because uh, every component of your cruise tour is accessibility friendly. We have been able to establish our own infrastructure in Alaska. So from hotels to motor coaches to railways, it really just ensures that those multi-generational families can travel together. And it's great because you can uh, customize your cruise tour. So you can do your cruise first, you can do your land first, you can even add an optional meal plan because unlike your cruises, your land tour will not have your meals included. So there's really so much room for customization and uh, personalization that your, your travel professionals are really gonna help you assist and choose which itinerary is right for you. There are two different types of cruise tours we offer, but first we're, we are going to focus on the Denali cruise tour. That's going to be your cruise plus Denali. It is our premier Denali experience. So what it consists of is a seven night cruise paired with a one, two or three night stay near Denali National Park. And it also features other locations in, throughout Alaska's interior as well. Now, to give you some context with a map, Denali National Park is located in the heart of Alaska. So contrary to some misconceptions, you cannot see Denali Mountain from the comfort of your cruise ship. Instead, you have to travel into Alaska's interior. But with Holland America, you can do so in style because all of our Denali cruise tours feature a ride to or from Denali on the McKinley Explorer. The McKinley Explorer is a luxurious glass domed rail car. And the upper level gives you those panoramic views of the wilderness, while the lower level offers an outdoor viewing deck. So if you wanna catch some fresh Alpine air, it's a great place to do so. There's plenty of space to move around on our McKinley Explorer. And one time I was fortunate to be out on the viewing deck as a herd of caribou came running alongside the train. My guests and I only noticed them because we heard the hoofbeats. So that's the only reason why we caught them. They were so fast. In addition, the McKinley Explorer offers possible views of Mount Denali. I took this photo on an exceptionally clear day and I find it to be such a unique vantage point from which to view the mountain. On your, on your train, you have an upper level, which has a rail guide and a bartender, keeping you constantly entertained and amused. But on the lower level, there's a dining car where they serve a premium breakfast and lunch for purchase. And as Caitlin demonstrates in that photo, there's nothing quite like watching the tundra tumble by with a cup of coffee in your hand. And the crown jewel of all Holland America properties is the McKinley Chalet Resort. This is where you will stay in Denali, and we offer one, two, and three night stays. It's a stunning 60-acre resort-style property, and you can listen to the flowing waters of the Nanana River. You can even see Mount Healy in the distance. You are really connected to nature here. In fact, you're less than two miles from the entrance of Denali National Park. So we offer complimentary shuttles from our resort to the visitor center. And don't let these 60 acres overwhelm you because we also offer shuttles around our entire property, which ensures that they are accessibility friendly. And Denali Square is the social hub for Holland America guests. 
This is where friends and family and even strangers come together. So you can grab a bite to eat or a drink from Karsten's. You can head outside and listen to live music. You can even roast some s'mores at the fire pit. It really is the heartbeat of the property. And while we know socializing is a very important aspect of every vacation, we know it's just as important to relax and recharge your batteries. And for that, we recommend the Denali Suite Upgrade. Now, this is the only chance to upgrade your lodging on your land tour, but you don't have to have a suite on your cruise ship in order to be eligible. So that's pretty awesome. And it has some great room highlights, which include the fact that it's on in our newest building, on property and it's a larger room and you always have either a balcony or a patio that faces the wilderness. And there are some amazing upgraded amenities. I would upgrade for the heated bathroom floors alone. I would upgrade for the custom Pendleton blanket on every bed. Well, we agree to disagree. It is important to note that it is um, an advanced reservation is required because it is limited space. So again, you're gonna wanna talk to your travel professional about this upgrade. We know that you will relax at the McKinley Chalet, but you probably came to Denali for a bit of adventure. And the Tundra Wilderness Tour is the best chance to see the Big Land Five on your trip with Holland America. So we offer on every two or three night stay on a Denali cruise tour, an included Tundra Wilderness Tour excursion. Now that is going to be led by the National Park Service. So a certified naturalist will pick you up from the McKinley Chalet Hotel and they will drive you all the way out as deep as you can get into the park. Denali National Park com is comprised by over 6 million miles, 6 million acres of wilderness. So that's a lot of space and there's only one road in. So your certified naturalist will take you all the way to mile 43. To give you some context, if you were driving yourself, you could only reach mile 15. And during your journey, they will narrate and you have the chance to see so much wildlife. They even have a very high tech zoom camera. So if you are viewing something far off in the distance, they can project it on screens in your converted bus. And while that's an incredible feature, you oftentimes don't even need that zoom. I talked about the elusive gray wolf as one of the uh, land big five. I have personally never seen one. That's why it's elusive to me. But I've had guests that had not one, not two, but three of them running alongside their bus last summer. So that was pretty special to hear. And uh, we've also had reports of a moose charging a bear. And this site right here, a mama cub or mama bear and her two cubs crossing the road is not an uncommon site. So it really is the best way to not only experience the wilderness of Denali National Park, but the wildlife as well. The Tundra Wilderness Tour only scratches the surface of activities available in Denali National Park. As your cruise has shore excursions, your land portion of your of your cruise tour has optional land excursions. So there are plenty of activities and they all range in levels of activity. So you have Denali Air Flights, which take you up to the peak of Mount Denali and you can get 360, de view, 360 degree views of that peak. You have a Temsco helicopter landing on a glacier. They even give you these special black boots that let you walk on the glacier without damaging it and without slipping. Finally, you can take an ATV tour where so many of my guests have seen moose. So really there are tons of optional excursions that you could book while you are enjoying your time in Denali. So my best advice for you is to spend as much time as possible in Denali when you're traveling with Holland America. Caitlin and I have our number one guest feedback, which is, man, I wish I had more time in Denali. So remember that on a two or three night Denali cruise tour stay, you will have an included Tundra Wilderness tour. So if you spend two nights with us in Denali, you can do the Tundra Wilderness tour and have time for maybe one other optional activity. But if you stay for three nights, you could do the Tundra Wilderness Tour and then have an entire free day. 
to either enjoy activities or just relax on the McKinley Chalet's stunning property. So really the world is your oyster and there are so many different options. So make sure you're talking to your travel professional. So now that we've covered your Alaska cruise and your cruise plus Denali, we're gonna cover your exclusive Yukon cruise tour. That is your cruise plus Denali plus the Yukon. So what's different about this itinerary option or this tour type is that your cruise can vary in length. So we offer three, four, or seven night cruise length. So there is that shorter cruising option. And then your land portion will last anywhere from six to 11 days. So it is really our most comprehensive itinerary because you really see it all. And if you're unfamiliar of the Yukon, it is the Yukon Territory in Canada. Don't worry, I was at first unfamiliar as well, but it's an area that is, steep, that is steeped in gold rush history. So in 1898, when the Stampeders, who are displayed here, heard of that gold strike in Dawson City, over 100,000 of them tried to reach Dawson City from the port of Skagway, but only 30,000 of them actually made it there because the journey was so arduous. So it's an area that's still teeming with the legacies of those who tried to strike it rich. And in addition to its uh, colorful history, it also offers access to untouched wilderness. And whereas Alaska has hundreds of thousands of visitors every summer, the Yukon Territory only has thousands. So it's a really unique place to say you've been. And don't let the ruggedness and the vastness of the Yukon Territory deter you because that's where we come in. Taylor and I work as tour directors for the Yukon Cruise Tours. So it's important to note that your Yukon Cruise Tour is escorted group travel. So you will have an expert local tour director who travels with you for the entire land portion of your tour. And we offer assistance with planning, logistics, and we even give you our recommendations for each of the stops along the way. So while every cruise tour has access to guest services, having a tour director who travels with you is just an added bonus of service excellence. And all of us tour directors are so passionate about both Alaska and the Yukon. One place that's near and dear to my heart is Dawson City. Now, this is a town that was a historic gold rush boom town and has transitioned into becoming an active mining town. So if any of you are fans of the television program Gold Rush, you might even see Tony Beats around town. And you are, feel like you're transported back in time when you're in Dawson City because it really has an of the time feel. There are colorful false facades amongst all of the buildings. So you can even see that with our hotel property pictured. And each of our, a lot of those buildings have been lovingly restored by Parks Canada where you can even take tours inside them. In addition, there are boardwalks instead of sidewalks. Every road is a dirt road except for one. And really, you just feel like you're transported back in time when you're in Dawson City. The highlight of your time on a Yukon cruise tour, one of the highlights, might be our one hour private chartered flight between Fairbanks and Dawson that we offer. So that takes, that basically cuts out a two day motor coach trip because Holland America heard guest feedback that they wanted more time in Dawson City. So now all of our tours feature these chartered flights. So the only thing you have to worry about is what in-flight snack you're planning to order. It really is a seamless trip and everything is organized for you. In Dawson City, there are many different activities you can enjoy. You can try your luck panning for gold, sample ice cream at the Klondike Creamery, or soak in the views from atop the Midnight Dome. For me, there's nothing better than watching the Can Can Show at Diamond Tooth Gertie's. Diamond Tooth Gertie's is the oldest gambling hall in all of Canada, and the show features singing, dancing, and audience participation. You really feel like you're transported back into a Gold Rush era saloon. 
Another town you might visit is one that we've already talked about as a possible cruise port, and that is Skagway, Alaska. So Skagway is a charming town that is only eight blocks wide, and some itineraries offer the possibility of a one to two night stay here at our hotel, which is pictured. And Skagway offers some incredible opportunities for some really exciting land excursions, but what's amazing about visiting Skagway and having the optional overnights is that just by being in Skagway, you are in a national historic park. And that site comprises of almost all of downtown, over 20 buildings, some of which you can visit. So it's really an amazing place to explore once those cruise ships leave and it becomes yours because it does get really crowded in the days with all those cruise ships. But uh, it's really also just the gateway to the Klondike. Yeah, that being said, this is actually a, a photo of the Chilkoot Pass Trail. Now, the Chilkoot Trail was one of the paths that the Stampeders took on the journey from the port of Skagway to Dawson City. So these folks would have to transport one ton of goods with them up this mountain pass. And that would take them sometimes 20 or more trips. And when they re reach the other side, they would be at Lake Bennett, where they then had to construct a ship to then try to float to Dawson City. So this was an incredible journey that these young men and women undertook. And by traveling with Holland America in the Yukon, you are retracing their path. And while doing so, you are going to soak up their legendary stories. And it will really connect you to living, breathing history in a way that might make an event that you know nothing about now very, very deeply meaningful to you. Finally, we're back at the White Pass Railroad. I talked a little bit about this earlier. It's a stunning train ride through the mountains that leaves out of Skagway Center. And it is very historic because it was constructed in 1898 and they call it the Tutu Train because it took two years, two months, and two days to build it. Now, this train is the number one attraction in all of Alaska, and many of our Yukon cruise tours include it as part of your itinerary. So make sure you're asking your travel professional about that. Now you can enjoy it from the comfort of a vintage refurbished or restored train car. And it's so fun because you really take a journey through staggering mountains, rushing waterfalls, and deep gorges. So the wildlife and scenery is absolutely stunning. In summary, the Yukon Cruise Tours offer you the opportunity to make memories that last a lifetime. This is going to be an escorted group trip so you have a tour director and you are traveling with a bunch of like-minded adventurers. I have seen so many friendships formed on the trips that I lead out in uh, Alaska and the Yukon. I've seen phone numbers, email addresses, photos, recipes exchanged amongst my guests. And some of them are even heading to the cruise ship. So those newly formed friendships all end up translating on board. In addition, it's not just a guest to guest connection, it's also a guest to tour director connection. Taylor and I are just so fortunate to be able to connect with all of our guests and we are able to stay in touch with many of them. So it's really a highlight of our job. And if you see us walking around Dawson, Dawson City or Denali, please come say hi. We absolutely love that part of our job and we might even be your tour directors. Yeah. All right, in summary, we have our Alaska cruise. We have our Denali cruise tour, which is your cruise plus Denali. Then you have the Yukon plus Denali cruise tour, which is the cruise, Denali, and the Yukon. So remember, while these might sound simple by looking at this easy photo, there are so many itineraries that fall under each of these types of travel that you're really going to want to take uh, the list that you maybe wrote as your optional extra credit assignment to your travel professional so that they can help you craft the perfect itinerary that fits everything you want to see into it. Um, and with that being said, we have some awesome promotions for you guys right now that we want to talk about. 
The first is actually an amenity package, and this is offered only on the cruise portion of our trips, but it is called Have It All, and it's all of our best amenities included at 50% off. So you have Wi-Fi, you have specialty dining packages, shore excursion credit, and a drink package, which includes up to 15 beverages per person per day. And they don't have to be alcoholic beverages. They could be soft drinks or premium coffee drinks. So this is only for purchase for your cruise segment of your trip. And it really adds value to your vacation because it covers all of the things you would be purchasing on board, but at a deeply reduced price. In addition, we are running a very limited time of your life sale. And there is a ton of value in this up to 40% off select 2024 cruise fares, free balcony upgrades up to a balcony, free and reduced kids fares. So if you have multi-generational travel, this one's for you. And it's very limited in its duration. So make sure you're talking to your uh, travel professional about it, but you can earn up to $400 in onboard credit as well. Yes, and as a special thank you for attending today's virtual Onstage Alaska event, we also have another limited time offer, which is a combined onboard credit and land credit of up to $350 per stateroom. And then we're also offering you a reduced deposit of just $25 a person to secure your spot. And that is important to note that it is for new bookings only. And all of these deals can be stackable. And one final touch that I think is really incredible is that if you have had a family or friends in mind today, as we've been talking about these different uh, vacation options, you are able to extend those deals to them. They don't have to be here today. Uh, as long as you book with your uh, agent that invited you today, it's an agency exclusive limited time offer. So those are just some fabulous offers that we have for you. And the time to book really is now because the value is so high and it's just space always fills up and it's the time to do it is now. Yeah. That $25 per person deposit will secure you on the sailing of your choice. And that is unheard of, honestly. Yeah. So with that, we thank you so much for being in attendance today. It's been our honor to share our experience and expertise about Alaska. We really hope that we see you there next summer and beyond if it's not this summer, but uh, I think we'll turn it back over for some questions. Um, sure. and make sure you meet with your travel professionals who invited you here today because they have all this great information for you. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, what a great presentation. Thanks, Caitlin and Taylor. Thank you. Um, Thank you. We do have a question uh, from Carrie. She wants to know, can you tell us about the dining options that are available at your McKinley Chalet uh, Resort? Oh, sure. Yeah, we have some great dining options at the McKinley Chalet Resort. So the first option is going to be Canyon Steakhouse. That is going to be located, it makes a little bit of sense, but the property, as Caitlin mentioned, is large. So that's going to be on the upper level of the property. It's our most upscale uh, restaurant on, on property, and it has really nice seafood and steak dishes. It, it's very famous for its steaks. In addition, there is well, there's also a great bar in the Canyon yeah. Steakhouse, and that's actually incredible because you don't have to have reservations. You can go and order anything on the menu from Canyon is there, and they have stunning views over the Nanana River. Yes. That's my favorite spot to tell guests to go. We also have uh, Karsten's, which I mentioned from being in Denali Square. That has um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're open pretty much all day. Okay. It's American sort of style food. They offer everything really. They have rockfish, they have brisket, yeah. they have a full breakfast buffet. And uh, what else is located on property? And we also have music of Denali yes. dinner show. So that's a really fun experience. Basically you learn about how Denali national park was founded through a musical performance and all the performers are also your servers. And it's all you can eat barbecue. It's like a family style yeah. barbecue. So those are the three main dining options on property. There's also a small coffee shop called Grizzly Grind yes. where you can pick up some grab and go breakfast and coffees as well. Oh, wow. This sounds fun. A lot yeah. of fun stuff. Um, next question is from Tim. He said, does each family need a national park pass? No, you no. do not need a national park pass for Denali National Park at all that I've noticed because you're going in on our transport as well. So no one has, no one's checking anything 
to get in because you're already on, but they do offer stamps. They so offer the awesome. stamp. Yeah. yeah. If you want the park stamp, you can get it there. Oh, but awesome. Not need the pass. Okay. Um, Carrie wants to know Hubbard or Glacier Bay, which do you recommend? Oh, I mean, <laughs> Glacier Bay National Park for me, you're going to get the national park in there. You get the park ranger and it is an exclusive place to sail. Not that Hubbard Glacier, it's not, but, uh, Glacier Bay National Park is just something that's on a lot of people's lists in my, in my experience. And it's an incredible place to see. As Caitlin mentioned earlier, there are only two permits for ships to enter Per day. Glacier National Park per day. So if you can get on a sailing with Holland America that offers Glacier Bay sailing, you are one of two ships that enter that bay. Yeah. Uh, so that that's special, I think. I mean, Hubbard is also fantastic. So you can't go wrong with either. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Gary wants to know, is the cruise and tour handicap accessible? Yes. So every component on our cruise tours is accessible. So our rail cars are all accessible. They have lifts in them. Our motor coaches also all have lifts in them. And then there's ADA rooms in every location throughout the cruise tour. So it really is every component is accessible, which makes it so great for those multi-generational families to travel together. Yes. And a note on that is what you need to do in order to ensure yes. that you are served in the right way is let your travel professional know about your needs so that they can attach it to your booking. And then all of our staff will know to have that ready for you on your particular journey. Yeah. So they will assign you a rail car that has the lift that you need. They will assign you the motor coach that has the lift already out for you. So all those things will be arranged ahead of time for you as long as you let your travel agent know that you need that service. Yeah. And they're really incredible about doing that. Also the Tundra Wilderness Tour is accessibility friendly as well. Again, they have to know that it has to be a bus that has the yeah. the right uh, spot for- Basically, yeah. as long as we all know in advance, everything is accessible. It's taken care of, yes. That's great, that's great. Um, next question, Pam wants to know, is it too late to book for this summer? Also, I can't remember what the Alaskan Husky teams are called. Do you have a chance to see them? Ah, that's a, okay. So first I'll address the first part of that question and Caitlin can address the second. No, I, I'm just kidding. I'll address whatever. Um, but I do know that 2024 is definitely still on sale. Yes. That is the time of your life sale right now that we talked about on the second to last slide we just went over. And that is where we have up to 40% off on some of those fares. So 2024 is still on sale. It is selling rather quickly. So might not have every single sailing date available. I know a lot was filling up, but you can also find some great deals, but I'm you sure. can find yeah. some great deals because we are a little late into the booking season. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're looking. It's, it's still definitely available. Yeah. And as far as the racing dogs, we do have different opportunities to encounter them throughout different portions of our land tours. So there are actually some great excursions from uh, Denali national park. You can go to um, Caitlin, her last name, but she has a dog kennel, on it. And dog dog on a kennel so you can, um, you can go out there and visit her dogs. We also sometimes have puppies that come to the chalet to socialize them. So you can actually hold and play with Alaskan Husky puppies. And then um, in Fairbanks, a, a free activity in, in Denali as well. Oh, yes. um, if you Thank have you. that extra free day in Denali National Park, mm -hmm. if you stay for three nights, you can take a our, our complimentary shuttle to the National Park Visitor Center. And then from there, they offer shuttles to a show, which is basically it's the dog demonstration, it's, the dog sled demonstration. It's a dog sled demonstration. And it's the national park rangers and their dogs that they use who are actually also park rangers. Yep. They use to maintain and patrol the park yeah. in the off season. So these dogs are active right now in the winter in Denali uh, with the rangers, helping them reach all the areas that are not accessible by roads. So yeah. there's a lot of different cool stuff like that. Like that's just offered in Denali. Though. Yeah. But other locations. In Fairbanks, you have access to them just very quickly to finish up. There is a river, uh, river boat tour there and they do go right by Susan Butcher's old kennel mm -hmm. and her daughter Tecla actually uh, runs her kennel now. She was a four time winner of the Iditarod first woman who ever won. So yeah. it's, it's really a cool experience as well to see their kennel. So um, there's multiple different opportunities throughout different portions of our tours. Okay. Um, next one. How long does the ship stay in Glacier Bay? 
Oh, that's a good question. It really depends on the day. Yeah. It depends on the day. Um, I've heard eight hours as, as sometimes the number that I've heard, but it depends on the conditions and it depends on what's being permitted that day in the park because it is controlled by the park service and we are subject to their, their will in that yes. sense. But I have heard, heard eight hours I've is like eight hours. what I not normally would hear. Yeah. Okay. Is there a swimming pool on the ship and is it warm? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. There are multiple swimming pools on our ships. And I they are warm. And if that's not warm enough for you, there's also hot tubs on the ship. Yeah. Multiple hot tubs. That's my favorite location on the ship. The pools are heated, but the hot tubs are always the warmest, yes. which I enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, next question. Where is the best location to see Mount Denali? I would say your best chance to see Denali, Mount Denali, is going to be going on a flight seeing tour. If you can do that in Denali National Park, because even on the days that it might be overcast or socked in from the ground, they're going to get you past those clouds and you're going to be able to still see the peak. You can also see Denali from uh, close to Talkeetna, which is a town outside the park area and that's where we pass on the train where we get that really nice view of the mountain and then there's also a viewpoint on the way to Fairbanks and there's my guests also see on the Tundra Wilderness Tour yeah, if the day is clear yeah. enough they join that 30 percent club who gets to see the peak so it's really rare yeah um but that flight seeing tour is your guaranteed way to see the, the peak of Denali nearly guaranteed yeah <laughs> yeah um is there a better side of the ship to request <laughs> no no so you are always going to have incredible views no matter what side of the ship you're on but what's great is that when you're seeing something special sometimes the captain will even turn the ship at a 360 degree turn so you'll yeah. see everything and you open up the bow of that ship on weather permitting days so you just get a closer look at everything What's incredible too, is that you're able to see, I mean, there's floor to ceiling windows on every cruise ship too. So even if you're at the bar and you're enjoying, you know, a cocktail or a hot chocolate, you can look out the window and just see something incredible as well. So it, yeah. anywhere on the ship at any time, you have the opportunity to see something phenomenal. Yeah, I agree. Um, what is the promotion that is being offered for booking 2025 again? That is something that your tour a uh, professional or your travel professional will help you um, break down right now. We, yeah, right now yeah. we're only right now. We're only talking about the time of your life sale that applies to the 2024 sailing, but I know they do have a booking deal yeah. for that for 2025, yeah. but that is something that your travel professional who invited you here today is going to have all the details on and the on stage mm -hmm promotion that we talked about at the end is applicable to 2024 and 2025 sailings. So, yeah. Okay. A couple more questions. We'll wrap it up. If oh. you are scheduled to visit Glacier Bay, could the stop be canceled? And if so, for what reason? Uh, that's more of a national park question. I have heard of that happening, but I'm not familiar with the exact reasons of why it could happen. Maybe rough sailing, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, everything <laughs> in Alaska is um, it's everything is sort of we say we run on ish timing, and everything that happens, if it happens on you know as planned, it's like an incredible thing. Weather is always like kind of you know iffy, but I, I'm sure there are plans in place. Maybe they will cruise you to a different location. Yeah. That is something that I would ask your travel professional for. I don't yeah. know specifically. But um, I'm sure they do have plans in place because it. I'm sure it's happened. I'm but sure it happens. I'm yeah. sure it's not, you know, very frequently. Yeah. So. Okay. And our last question is, what type of clothing should you take with you? I would say definitely pack a bit of everything so that you have layers. So you want to have Alaskan weather ranges so much, even amongst destinations you might visiting be visiting within a week right so you might have cooler temperatures where you want to have a jacket or a raincoat on and a couple layers underneath or you might have hot weather i've been in 80 degree weather in skagway this summer and i needed to be in shorts and a tank top or else i was sweating so really you want to pack a variety of options and always have layers to add on or take off. That's my best advice. Yeah. I think it's always safe to have 
layers. And then it's really important to have like just comfortable walking shoes. Um, comfort is key. Nothing is fancy in Alaska. And it is important to note also that we do have access to laundry at every hotel property you stay at. So, you know, if you're worried about, oh my gosh, we're packing so much, you do have access to laundry while you're on tour as well. So, um, just always have layers, always something to take on and put off is what I recommend. Yes. Put, That's put great. on and take off. Yes. <laughs> great points. Great points. Well, thank you, Caitlin and Taylor. And, um, uh, it was a great presentation, and I'm sure just a reminder to go to your local travel professional who invited you here tonight, and they'll have answers about uh, the the uh, promotions and what they apply to and what dates and all of those good things so you can get the best value for your vacation dollar. I want to thank everybody for attending tonight, and please look for the email tomorrow with a copy of this presentation for your future reference. And uh, everyone have a great night and thanks so much. Thanks good night. So much. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.